Okay, so let's create a Google Plus page for your business. When you go into your profile, on the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a little link that says Google Pages, create a Google page. Really, it's this easy. Now I can choose, is it a local business or a place, product or a brand, company institution or organization, arts entertainment, or other. Now this is very much like Facebook pages in that you're categorizing yourself as a business. This time I'm going to choose company organization. I'm going to name it with my company name, Tattoo Digital Media. I'm going to put in a website so people can find me. And I'm going to select a category. And for right now, I'm just going to say Consulting and Business Services. These categories are very, very slim. I expect that they'll change at some point. But for right now, it's just like Facebook pages, really. Um, not very uh, complete. So now I can decide. For example, if I have an alcohol-related site, I'm going to want to click alcohol-related. So the wineries are going to want to choose those. There may be a reason that you want 21 or older, 18 or older to see the page only. It's nice they've added this restriction, in my opinion. And now I'm going to agree to the page terms. Make sure you read these because they've got a lot in here. Several different layers of um, information that you should probably read. Then click Create. In just a couple of seconds, my page is done and it's ready to go. And I can go ahead and upload some of the basic profile stuff. I can put in a tagline, which mine is, how do you make your mark? I can upload a picture. I can do a lot of different things, but basically that's it. I'm done. Now I can add a little bit of more information. I can tell my personal circles. Now I advise that you don't do this right away until you actually have content on the site. So I would skip this step. Um, do it later when you've got really great information, just like a Facebook page. This is going to take you to the last page. It's going to give you your Google URL. Yes, you've got to use all those numbers, but you can use a bit.ly link. You can use a number of URL shorteners to make that a little easier. I'll show you how to do that in another page. And you can Go ahead and post to your page so that people know what the page is about. And I'm just going to do the classic Hello World. So I've got my first post. I'm going to share it with public. And there it is. That's my first post.